Well, are you looking for a good New Year's resolution? We already heard about how you can stay fit in 2018. Now, how about decluttering your home? It's easier than you might think. Our organizing expert, Vicki Norris, shows us where to start. Take a look. Hi, it's Vicki Norris of Restoring Order. Today is all about butler's pantries. You know, that space off your kitchen or your dining room that provides extra storage. I'm gonna show you how to create one or optimize the one you have. Okay, butler's pantries are like any other storage space. You have to unload them by type. I'm not gonna go through that process with you because you can go to restoringorder.com or my YouTube channel to find that information. What I wanna focus on is what do you do with all this stuff after it's unloaded? Of course, you gotta prune, but then you wanna organize by column. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. In this section right here, we have a broad category of serviceware. Now, this is anything that you might use for entertaining. Here we've got some pictures and extra utensils and, of course, those not very often used appliances. So use columns for categorization. This one is serviceware. Next, we have this column for tableware. These are the things that are actually gonna go on the table for place settings. Finally, the last column, my favorite, is barista. And here we have coffee and tea service. Next is prioritize your lighting. In any storage space, lighting is key. Now, thankfully, I'm married to MacGyver, who happens to be an electrician, so we replaced the substandard lighting in this little closet here with these really cute little caged vintage lights. And it was so important, because if you can flood your space with light, you're gonna use it, you're gonna maintain it, and enjoy it so much more. And I wanna show you one other interesting thing. If you're actually gonna build out a butler's pantry, do it, grab an extra closet near your kitchen or dining room, maybe a hall closet that you don't use very often, get the coats out and install some storage shelves. Now here's what I love about this. Each storage shelf has three boards and you can take out these extra boards and let the light flow through on the lower shelves. Brilliant! This is so important because if you can't see it, you won't use it. Now the third strategy I wanna give you for either optimizing or creating your butler's pantry is this. Bring in artful design to the space and make it like a room. In my case, I added this really fun little old vintage window pane, a little wreath, and then of course over here in my teacup section, I have a little bit of architectural salvage there. So you wanna make your storage spaces beautiful. A lot of people don't think about that. You could wallpaper a wall, you could paint it a different color, but make your storage spaces fun and you will enjoy using them for years to come. Now if we could just get that butler to report to work. True, true, very true. I like those lights though in the butler's pantry. If I could just figure out how to keep the glasses from breaking, I'd be good. Okay, for more tips from Vicki Norris, we have a link to her Restoring Order website on our website, kptv.com slash moregdo.